Uh, the man accused in the deadly Halloween truck attack in New York is being held without bail. At least eight people were killed in the incident, including two Americans. Today, federal officials filed terrorism charges against him. Kenneth Craig has the latest tonight from New York. Saifullo Saipov appeared in U.S. District Court, handcuffed and in a wheelchair, as he was charged with federal terrorism crimes. First, material support of a terrorist organization, that being ISIS. And second, a federal charge of violence and destruction of a motor vehicle. According to the court filings, the 29-year-old chose Halloween as the day to mow down pedestrians and bicyclists, believing there would be more civilians on the street. Authorities say they have evidence establishing his support for ISIS, including a note recovered outside the rental vehicle he used. Also, a search of cell phones found in a bag that he was carrying revealed thousands of ISIS-related images and 90 videos. Officials say Saipov conducted a practice run last week and wanted to continue his attack down this West Side Highway bike path to kill more people on the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh my God! That did not happen. The Uzbek immigrant crashed his truck into this school bus carrying children before eventually being shot in the abdomen by NYPD officer Ryan Nash. I understand the importance of yesterday's events and the role we played, and I'm grateful for the recognition we have received. This video shows some of Saipov's victims riding along the bike path before they were struck and killed. The group of childhood friends from Argentina were celebrating a high school reunion in New York at the time. Back in their country, mourners lit dozens of candles in their honor. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. A high-ranking law enforcement official tells CBS News that authorities are questioning a friend of the suspect, also from Uzbekistan. At this point, they say there was no evidence linking the friend to the attack.